and today we're moseying around Sete Mil de las Bodegas. Most people when they come here they pair it with Ronda because you can do like a day trip from Ronda to here um, or like the morning here and the afternoon in Ronda so it's a really good thing to do. The cool thing about this little town is that the houses are built in the cliffs. So basically they build the town in a valley, which is pretty awesome. There's a lot of good restaurants you can go to. I would just say ask the local community and they'll give you the best places to go eat. We chose uh, the restaurant La Escueva. It was recommended by one of my travel friends. Honestly, any restaurant you go around here under the cave is gonna be kind of cool and the, the food is gonna be good. So you can't go wrong with any restaurant that you pick around here. Casa Palmero was another restaurant that's recommended to go eat there. It has some good ribs. I didn't get to try it, but I heard it was a good place. Um, and I'm not just saying it because it rhymes with Palermo, okay? So. Uh -huh. So I don't usually recommend places to stay at, but if you do come here, I would recommend one place and it's called Apartamentos Tres Cuevas. And I'll put their uh, Instagram or their website on the description below. So if you want to check them out. There's only three apartments, but they're really homey. They're really neat, very small, but very clean. They've got like kitchen, uh, a little stove area, some plates and stuff. Yeah. So if you want to stay in and cook, you can do that. Yeah. Or there's obviously places in the area. Um, and it's really beautiful, it's really nice. check the times when you come up to do stuff in the summertime in Spain because they always change the hour so the tower closes at 2 here and it costs 1 euro to get in
not much to see inside. There's a couple of art stuff. And... Yeah, a little bit of the history of the tower, yeah. the history of um, Sithenine. Um, yeah. Definitely. It's a quick view, but yeah, it's, nice. it's one euro, so it's worth it. Don't forget to go down at the bottom of the tower, under the tower. If you're into galleries, there's a place here where you can go check out some pictures from uh, the old way the town used to look like, and it's free, so it's not a bad place to come and get some souvenirs. If you want to get your souvenirs, a good shop to come to. So we went to the Cueva Alta and it's really not. I thought it was gonna be like a... It's like a little store that you go in and there's like a nice cave and it's really profound, but yeah, you expect that's about it to it. be like a tourist attraction, but yeah. it's more like a bar. There's two sides of the street. You can see the rocks intertwined with the houses and stuff. So they call it the dark side. So don't forget to go to the dark side. archaeological site of Asipino. It's really close to Setenin de las Bodegas, so you have to come here. The times for the archaeological site of Asipino change throughout the year, so just make sure you check before you come. But during the summertime, they kind of limited it from 9 to 2, and it's free. You don't have to pay anything. Just follow the map. which is the most important building of um, the archaeological site Athenipo. Um, and it was actually erected in the first century BC. Um, and it was actually one of the oldest Roman theaters in Spain. So it's quite famous today. Technically, there's five spots around this archaeological site, starting with the domus, which is the houses they had. Then it goes up to the theater, and then from there it goes up to a viewpoint, and then you come down to the to the baths, and then you can end up coming here at the cabins. You can do the cabins first because it's right at the entrance if you want, but if not, then you can end up here and see the cabin. Get rid of that's it. it. That's it. Damn it. <laughs> It's a shot, but it's, it's cool. kind of like deep in there, so. <laughs> the cave is kind of, the store is kind of. We just dismissed the importance of a home. The wealth. <laughs> okay, cut.